you need the right orientation. You know, but 90% of the people that buy stocks don't think of them the right way. Nowadays, many investors make the mistake of ignoring dividend stocks because their gains are too small. They believe making thousands of dollars out of it is a pipe dream, when in reality, it's the opposite. Dividends are one of the best paying investments. And today, we're going to prove it to you. In this video, we'll be telling you how you can earn $200 every day from dividend stocks alone, no matter how rich or poor you are at the moment. We'll show you how much you need to invest at the beginning and how long you have to wait to reach the goal. But make sure you stay until the end because we'll also show you two high paying dividend stocks that Warren Buffett owns, which he secretly uses to make millions. But before we begin, today's video will be cut into two unique strategies. The first strategy will be for those who have some healthy sums saved up in their accounts or even have some set aside for retirement. The second one, however, will be for those who have smaller capital but are willing to let it grow and reach the goal of paying $200 per day or $6,000 every month. So really, it's up to you to decide which path you'd like to take. You can either sprint by starting with a larger initial investment or go with the flow by picking a frugal sum in comparison. Ideally, it all boils down to how much money you have at the moment and how patient you are. Either way, the goal is to earn $200 a day. Understood? All right then. Without further ado, let's dive right into Warren Buffett's dividend stocks, which can pay us up to $200 per day. Starting us off, we have Chevron, known by the ticker symbol CVX. Have you ever wondered why Warren Buffett likes dividends? We mean, given that his own company, Berkshire Hathaway, doesn't pay dividends and has never done so, don't you think the fact that its portfolio is stacked with dividend-paying stocks is rather interesting? Currently, Chevron's dividend yield stands at a pretty enticing 4.2%. So that means in order to get $200 a day, or $6,000 every month, you will have to invest around $1.7 million in this stock right now. But before you give a defeated gasp, we're not done. Apart from the fact that Chevron has a pretty good yield, it also does quite well in terms of dividend growth. At its moment, its CAGR sits around 6.34%, which brings us to strategy number two. You see, given how not everyone has up to a million dollars to spare for dividend investing, time and growth are the Cape Crusaders. Skeptical? All right then. What if we told you that with this strategy, you would only need to invest approximately $68,585? After that, all you need to do is wait for your investment to grow while reinvesting those dividends. Want to know how it works? Well, after five years, your investment will slowly grow to approximately $110,146. In 10 years, it will be approximately worth $176,385 and give it 10 more years, it will be worth around $503,157. From there, it will nearly quadruple in value to approximately $2 million, paying an annual dividend of approximately $84,000. That's approximately $7,000 per month or $234 per day. So it's amazing to see how much time and compounding work. In the fourth quarter of 2023, Mr. Buffett only bought three stocks for Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio. Chevron was one of them. He even increased Berkshire's stake in the oil and gas giant by 14.4%. But why? To start with, Chevron's success relies heavily on oil. If prices are low, the company takes hits in profits. But if they're high, Chevron mints money. And given how oil prices are expected to rise in the coming years, the company is in a really good position. And if you thought that wasn't exciting enough, Chevron has increased its dividend payout for 37 consecutive years while boasting the best growth rate over the last five years in its entire industry. But funny enough, dividends aren't the only way Chevron pays investors to wait. Last year, the firm gave back nearly $15 billion to shareholders through stock buybacks marking a 32% increase from 2022. Known by the ticker symbol AB, Arbor Reality Trust is yet another amazing option for you to make $200 every single day. This REIT has consistently ranked among the top 10 real estate investment trusts due to its appealing valuation and robust dividend performance. 
Currently, it has a dividend yield of 12.29%, and backing its strong dividend yield is an even stronger dividend growth rate of 14.14%. Now, before we dive into the details of how much you should invest in Strategy 1 and the waiting period for Strategy 2 to reach our $200 per day goal, let's explore why this particular investment has earned its spot at the top of the list. First of all, Arbor Reality Trust's standout feature is its high yield, which notably exceeds the average yield by a considerable margin. Additionally, being an REIT, Arbor Reality Trust is obligated to distribute a minimum of 90% of its taxable income as dividends to shareholders, making it an attractive option for dividend-oriented investors. Arbor Reality Trust's business model centers on three key platforms, balance sheet loan origination, GSE agency loan origination, and servicing, offering diversified and recurring income streams. The company's adaptable multifamily focused operating platform, combined with its engagement in various real estate lending sectors, such as senior housing, bridge financing, and mezzanine equity, enhances its resilience and appeal. But running back to the numbers, with a current dividend yield of 12.29% and a 10 year CAGR of 13.14%, based on these metrics for strategy one, you will need to only invest $585,842 as an initial investment. However, for strategy number two, you would need to invest just about $21,000 plus reinvest those dividends to earn $200 every day for 10 years. Next on the list is a big guy in the oil and gas industry, Occidental Petroleum, with the ticker symbol OXY. Now, there is a reason why the Oracle of Omaha always keeps this stock in his portfolio. If there's one thing that Mr. Buffett will never do, it has to be betting against America. America comes back. It's always come back. Since 2010, the rise of hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, has significantly boosted U.S. shale production making it a formidable player in the energy sector. This technique has reshaped the nation's energy scene and solidified its independence in energy. The current U.S. oil production of 11.6 million barrels per day is more than double what it was in 2008 when it hit a low after four decades of decline. With its acquisition of Anadarko in 2019, Occidental has become one of the leading shale producers in the Permian Basin, with as much as 80% of its oil and gas production centered in the U.S. Plus, Occidental Petroleum's management is amazing, as Warren Buffett himself has acknowledged. He said the company's CEO was running the company the right way. And how about the math side of things? Currently, this stock pays an annual dividend of 1.28%, which is actually lower than Chevron's. But here's where things get interesting. So for strategy one, you'll need to invest up to $5.7 million straight away to make $200. But of course, these numbers are high for most people. Warren Buffett always said that successful investing takes time, discipline, and patience. No matter how great the talent or effort, some things just take time. And given how Occidental Petroleum is a growth stock, it's the best way to elaborate his belief. Oh, just wait till we show you how this stock can get you $200 per day easily with a low investment in Strategy 2. You see, Occidental Petroleum currently has a growth rate of 38.46%. So in this case, an initial investment of only $9,000 in this stock will get him $225 every day or $6,750 per month after 21 and a half years. At number 4, we have Golub Capital known by the ticker symbol GBDC. Surprised to see it here? Well, you shouldn't be. This stock hits a sweet spot in the current dividend and dividend growth. And it's arguably one of the juiciest dividend stocks that Warren Buffett currently owns. For a while now, the firm has been making solid gains, and to be honest, we don't think their streak is going to be stopping anytime soon. But while you may not find Golub Capital listed among Berkshire's holdings, Warren Buffett actually owns this, and for good reason. You see, the stock is in the portfolio of Berkshire subsidiary, New England Asset Management, meaning that the Oracle of Omaha is a holder, and we think this would last for quite a while. It currently offers a dividend yield of about 9.34%. But don't be frightened by the fact that its yield is so high because it is a business development company. 
And just like REITs, business development companies must return a minimum of 90% of earnings to shareholders to be exempt from federal income taxes. While it's common for stocks to experience price surges, it's the exceptional ones that consistently beat the market. Golub Capital's shares have shown remarkable growth, with a 12.7% increase over the past quarter and a 6.47% rise in the last year. In contrast, the S&P 500 only saw movements of 7.61% and 3.84% in the same periods, respectively. So for our first strategy, if you want to earn at least $200 every day right from your first year, you'll need to invest $782,000 in this stock. Though it's still significantly lower than any of the stocks we've talked about so far, it is still on the somewhat higher side. For strategy number two, this stock has an annual growth rate of 13.82%. So, if you invest $6,400 in this stock and keep reinvesting in dividends, you will achieve $200 every day after 20 years. So, we see the compounding effect more apparent here, thanks to a good starting current yield backed by a strong CAGR. But guess what? Stock number five, Aries Capital, with the ticker symbol ARCC, has a strange effect. Just like Golub, Aries Capital is yet another business development company in NEAM's portfolio that generates ultra-high yield dividends for the Oracle of Omaha. The company pays a dividend yield of 9.36%, but although we admit its yield hasn't always been so high, it is also worth mentioning that this firm hasn't cut its core dividend in more than 13 years. Intrigued? Well, there is more where that came from. Aries Capital is much larger than Golub Capital. In fact, it's the biggest publicly traded BDC around, with a market cap of over $11 billion. Since going public in 2004, Aries Capital has consistently outperformed the S&P 500 BDC Index, which monitors 39 major BDC stocks traded on U.S. exchanges, delivering an annualized cumulative total return. Additionally, Aries Capital's total return has significantly surpassed that of the S&P 500 both throughout that period and over the past three years. But here's why you need to invest in it. Apart from the fact that it's a pretty juicy stock for investors who are actually looking to generate lots of income from their portfolio, the allure of its high dividend payout is not the only reason why it's a good shout, even for the Oracle of Omaha. Aries Capital operates on a specialty finance company classified as a Business Development Corporation, or BDC. BDCs typically invest in debt, or equity in U.S.-based companies, and are often registered as regulated investment companies. This designation mandates them to distribute at least 90% of their income to investors, resulting in federal tax exemptions. Plus, with over $10 billion in net assets, Aries Capital Corporation is one of the largest publicly traded BDCs in the world. And don't even get us started on how it serves unmet needs in middle market lending. Aries Capital targets middle market companies, specifically those with earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization ranging from $10 million to $250 million. This segment of the market appeals to BDCs because banks overlook it. Over the past years, banks have transitioned away from providing senior secured loans, which aligns with Aries Capital's focus to these middle market companies. According to S&P Global Capital IQ, the portion of senior secured loans held by U.S. banks declined from 33% in 1995 to 8% in 2021. This shift is driven by banks favoring lending to larger enterprises, whose loans are deemed less risky and more liquid compared to those of smaller counterparts. So for our first strategy, if you want to earn at least $200 every day right from your first year, you will need to invest $779,000 in this stock, which is even smaller than the prior one. But how about strategy number two? Crunching those numbers and achieving $200 per day with a smaller investment can be possible. In this case, you'll need an excess of $7,630 and 20 years. So you see, growth plays a really good part in this.